Thank you to Oz GK for sponsoring this video. Oz GK is a figure platform dedicated to garage kit figures, ranging from popular anime franchises to games such as Genshin Impact. Check out the link in the description down below and enter code LEMON2 for a 2% discount off your entire order. Thank you for supporting me and now back to the video. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm over in Citygate Outlets in Tongchung. It's not too far from home, which is great because I'm here for the Chinese New Year mall decoration placement. I don't exactly know how to describe it. Now, those of you might observe that I have forgotten my glasses today, but thankfully it's cloudy day and I'm indoors, so thankfully I don't exactly need it, but it's going to be a little bit of trouble further on. Now, I'm here for this alleyway and that's the only thing I want. Basically, I'm not confident I can get a second shot here because it's a relatively small decoration slash placement thing. With that being said, I'm going to walk around and see what I can get and hopefully I don't run into any trouble because I'm not going to be using any tripods to prevent myself from running into trouble with the mall staff. Thankfully, people here are relatively nice, so I think I'll be all right as long as I don't make too big of a mess. All right, without further ado, let's go walk around and see if that alleyway can actually bloody work. Surprisingly quick setup for today's shot. Now I'm not going to use tripods here because I don't want to be an asshole. I'm inside a mall and that includes the Pocket 3, so not even going to use the Gorilla Pod. Originally I did think of you know putting it up on this thing, but no. It'll have to sit on maybe there or maybe around here. Either or. Now this shot's relatively simple with the 24 to 70 at 50 or 70 millimeter, depending on how the composition goes. I'm gonna put it slightly over there, slightly behind that. I moved it a little bit front because the amount of kids here is just nuts. I'm not risking anything. One light here, one light over here. Relatively simple. Let's take a look at the shot. Surprisingly decent. Okay, I'm gonna pack up, change up a little bit and head to another mall. Okay, I just got done with the first shot and thankfully nobody came around to tell me to get out. I think they were just focusing on the kids just trampling all over these trees because some were climbing over fences, some were climbing on trees, so I didn't get the brunt of the attention, which is brilliant. And I think you can hear in the background kids are screaming and crying. Brilliant, I think I should just get out of this place because I've only got one shot here and that's all done. I need to also charge this bloody mic because I forgot to charge this thing last night and I need a full day of shooting ahead of me. Luckily I do have batteries and luckily if I ever need to, I can just, you know, skip over back to home and charge up everything and then head back out. I'm gonna take the bus to the next spot which is way closer to home and I'll see you there, yeah?
apparently Google thought it would be a better idea for me to take the train instead of the bus. So I did a little detour, went back home to get my glasses, my jacket, because it's a little bit cold. And unfortunately, in the meantime, it kind of rained a little bit. It's not raining right now, but everything's wet. The ground's wet, the grass is wet, everything is just drenched. I hope it doesn't rain a little bit later when I'm actually shooting. Anyway, I'm here at Chunwan Plaza right now, and I'm here for these specific sakura trees. I saw them online and thought to myself, well, they look familiar. Have I seen them before? Turns out I have, and I've shot them before. This is a photo from a year ago, and even to this day, it's one of my favorite photos ever. Very, very good colors, very, very good composition. One of my major breakthroughs, I'd say. I'm gonna walk around and see what else I can shoot aside from these things. I don't think there'll be anything suitable for the clothes I have on me right now. So maybe I'll come back again. Okay, let's go walk around. Never in a million years do I think I would say this. Luckily, it just rained. Well, look at all this, it's all wet, but there's nobody around, no kids whatsoever. I love it. This place is supposed to be packed, I feel like, because, well, Tobo Mall with a lot of kids and also pet friendly means that it's gonna be crowded pretty much any time of the day. And I'm not exactly early either. It's currently 1 p.m., so good on me. Either way, this is a very simple shot with the 24 to 70. At, I wanted to use 50, but 35 seems more of my jam anyway. Not using flashes, one light on top, one light I'm gonna be holding like around here or so, balance the light on the face and the eyes as well. Okay, let's take a look at the shot. Actually pretty decent. Okay, I'm gonna switch up everything and uh, Let's see what we can do here. All right, I'm pretty much done with the outdoors segment of this video. Well, as much as outdoors can be with this kind of weather, right? It's cloudy, rainy, and very, very humid. Doesn't feel great. I was in a mall this morning and right outside a mall right now, so it's still kind of outdoors compared to what I'm doing tonight because I'll be joined by a few of my friends and heading to a studio. It's very close to here, but I'll go home, get lunch, switch out my loadout and everything and uh, get prepared for that. However, I don't really have exactly very high hopes for that place because with most studios in Hong Kong, they kind of tend to over-exaggerate how fancy it should be. The lighting effects are a bit more fancier, everything color-wise is going to be more sparkly in their promotion photos. Okay, I'll just pack up, go home, uh, get prepared and I'll see you at the studio tonight, okay? In three, two, one, switch. Hello everyone, and welcome to Replay Studio. Now, I'm here in one of their rooms. This is the electronics, kind of cyberpunky room. And yes, this is a little bit more difficult to photograph, but unfortunately, this is exactly what I like. Different colors, different things around, more of a cyberpunk theme with a lot of fans. Uh, yes, my biggest fans over there, pun intended. Now, I'm gonna see and try if I can get four photos here because I do have four outfits. Uh, one maybe over here, one using keyboard there, and one over with these blue and purple strips. Not sure how I can exactly do it, but all for the best. Let's try and um, spam the photos, shall we? Well, well, well. If you're seeing me here, that means something has gone terribly wrong in the studio. Well, no, no accidents so far, but it's more of just the studio being not very good. I actually went to two studios, uh, this one, Foxen Studio, and this one, Replay Studio, hoping that one of them would just round off the video for that day. I actually went to this one first, so let's just talk about that. Foxen Studio, uh, my friend recommended it. I kind of wanted to go. I saw my friend gave me a huge discount, so I just leaped in. The place itself is okay, but my friend described it as, it's a garage with things shoved in it, and you call it a studio. 
which is pretty accurate, I'll be honest. The biggest issue is no air conditioning and the lighting is horrible because they don't have any scene lights and they just tell you to turn off the entire lights on the ceiling and use your own lights, which doesn't help because I suck at indoor photography and I don't have like those massive ring lights. So that really doesn't help. I got four photos that day, which were okay per se. For a gathering spot, it's decent, but the place is small, the place is cramped, and for the full price, if you were to pay that, I would not recommend the place, absolutely not. Maybe for like people portraits, one or two photos, that'll be worth it, but you would have to get a huge discount. This one, Replay Studio. Uh, a friend of mine actually went there with a bunch of other people shooting dolls, and I saw the photos thinking that, yeah, it looks all right, I might go and I also got a huge discount. And when I got there, I was a bit disappointed because the place was a bit stinky, a bit dull in other ways. They had seen lights, some of the things were working, some were not, and I did get three photos, these three. And they're even worse for some reason. One, because I wasn't really in the mood to do photography in a lot of ways, I was really, really tired, and two, Half of the things, including the cyberpunky room I showed earlier, didn't work. The computer screens didn't work, the fans didn't work, everything just was not there. And if you were to pay full price for the place, no, absolutely not worth it. And I was just renting two rooms with five people. And even I felt I was a bit, you know, cheated on in other ways. So yeah, studio stuff, not really my thing, especially when it's indoor photography and I suck at that. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. To the very end of the video, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Comment down below and tell me what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Lemon out.